Hello everyone, my name is Anna, I'm a dietitian from Ask a Dietitian and as requested today's topic is healthy and nutritious, nutritious, nutritious meal ideas and tips that are cheap. And so I have a few tips to go through and the first one is to choose a day. And so when I say choose a day, I mean choose one day to go shopping per week. This is quite hard because I know a lot of people just go, oh, I'll just go into the shops here and there throughout the week and then end up spending a huge amount of time at the shops each week and making one decision at a time. So I know it's easier in the short term, but in the long term, if you choose a bunch of things that you're going to make, make each week or at least some staples to make each week, then that will save you a bunch of decisions long term and save you a bunch of time because you're not popping into the shops here and there all week. Um, and so when you go shopping, that's a good idea to start by going around the edges of the supermarket because that's where the fruit and veg are, the meat are, the nuts are the bread sometimes being in the supermarket the dairy and the frozen products so they're all of your kind of main things um and so then choosing a day to do a bunch of cooking maybe well this works for me anyway so on a sunday i often would make um something for myself and my kids lunches so like zucchini slice or um a couple of trays of roast veg i always go on about this to anyone who will listen my partner's not so keen on the roast frozen veg, which is what I do. They're frozen to begin with, and I just pour them onto a tray and shove them in the oven for an hour at 180, and out comes some nice, in my opinion, very delicious um, brassica vegetables. So I usually cook cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, but if you've got a little bit more time, then you could do corn. I mean, not corn. I mean, carrot, uh, potato, sweet potato, um, onion, beetroot, pumpkin, parsnip, turnip anything really um and then if you do two trays usually you'll end up with about four uh of those takeaway container kind of size things and so you can have them for lunches during the week it also means you get to save decision making during the week and so on there i would usually throw like some hummus or some greek yogurt or some nuts nut butter cheese cubes and uh, anything to make it yummy basically veggies need to be yummy we don't have enough yummy vegetables when veggies are um, the staple in our diet so that is one thing that i always pretty much cook on a sunday um also maybe something sweet like for for lunches or things um maybe like a well actually i have a zucchini brownie recipe on my website and i also have a zucchini slice recipe on my website I don't know why they're both zucchini. I don't like love zucchini. Not that I dislike zucchini, but anyway, check it out. Um, so yes, choosing some days to do some cooking can really help during the week, um, help with decisions, help with time, help with avoiding food waste um, and help with money. So my next um, trick, little trick is to learn some staples. So as I said, again, zucchini slice, I'm like constantly, I love zucchini slice. I, I do eat, eat this um most weeks um, but other staples would be like potato bake um spaghetti bolognese meat and three veg like that's a really good meal and people kind of i don't know people don't feel like they're doing enough if they cook meat and veg nowadays i feel like um actually i'm gonna do i think i will do a vlog on all a bunch of meal ideas for you and that will help um so yes learn some staples off a heart so you don't have to keep looking at the recipes while you're making them Tip number three is to um, minimize choice by cooking in bulk, which is kind of what I said before about lunches. Um, another thing you could do is grab a bag of leaves, like lettuce leaves and some salad and cut it all up and chuck it in some containers. Don't put any dressing on it because that'll make it go yuck. And that'll last for a few, at, like I would, I would eat it a few days later. Some people are like, Ugh, that's disgusting, but if it hasn't got dressing on it, then it should be okay. I know people do those layered salads, but they always look really tricky to eat. I think I eventually asked someone how to eat them and they said you meant to tip them out. <laughs> and it's like, how do you get all the layers? Because the lettuce is on top. Anyway, a given if I have to have, I don't think you should have to eat something that has to be explained, but I don't know. Here I am explaining everything. So maybe not, maybe it's just me who doesn't understand layered salads. Anyway, if they're your thing, then that's awesome. Send me some photos. I would love to see them. Um, so salad salad dressing, always have some salad dressing that you like because you don't want boring salad. If you have a boring salad, then you won't keep eating salad. And um, uh, one of my favorite ones is that dressing that's on like the, uh, the Chang noodle brand. They have a recipe for um, a dressing that's really sweet and salty and 
vinegary, which is delicious in my opinion. Last tip is have some grab and go snacks available. Um, so fruit where you can see it, um, some yogurt in the fridge, so you can chuck on some muesli or just eat it plain. Um, uh, boiled eggs, nuts, always keep your nuts in the fridge to keep the oils nice. And um, yeah, anything like that. So ah, tinned fish, that was the other one I was thinking of. Tinned fish is really great too. That's something that you could chuck on top of the roast veggies that I mentioned earlier. So if you have any questions, please send them to me at Ask a Dietitian on Facebook or check out my website, askanapd.com. APD stands for Accredited Practicing Dietitian, which is what I am. If you want to see me, I do free 15-minute consults and I also do uh, longer consults for those who are um, ready to dive right on in. And thank you very much. I will talk to you soon.